right, everyone, it is, I need to pause this. It is the day of my bachelorette. I feel like I still look tired. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of Pilates. Well, I literally just started, but I'm gonna um, continue it in a second. So I don't have any idea what's going on. My friends are downstairs right now. It is actually pouring with torrential rain. So we were meant to, when I found out, I'm actually, I'll tell you because it's still gonna be a surprise when you guys see it. We were meant to basically go on this fucking massive yacht. And like, when I say yacht, like when I, I thought, I thought it might have been a boat because it was very secretive, but I've got a really strong intuition. So it's kind of hard to keep a secret from me anyway. Um, so I thought it might have been a boat, but my fiance then showed me pictures this morning and I'm like, you guys will see it when we go on it. Like, these are the kinds of boats that billionaires have. Like when I tell you this is a fucking like physical manifestation and like a vibe upgrade, I mean it. And it is thunderstorming, full torrential rain. Like we're staying in this beautiful townhouse in Sydney right now. Um, and there's like leak, it's, there's, it's like leaking because of how much it's raining, full torrential rain. Anyway, so I woke up this morning and I was just like, I really think that whatever outside activity we have, because I didn't know at this point, should be canceled. That being said, it's being postponed now until the very beginning of Jan, um, when because we are coming back for De uh, we're coming back in December for Christmas. So I just said to my fiance, like, we're just gonna basically stay a few extra weeks and we're having New Year's here because I want to be on this fucking boat. And like, when you guys see the boat, you will understand. I could cry right now about just I don't know, like today. I don't know how if, if, it feels kind of weird to say, but um. Maybe some of you guys that are married have had this as well. It's just like, oh my God, like I'm getting married. Like I could fucking cry. I'm not, I need to like keep my shit together because I've already like partially done makeup, <laughs> but it's just kind of weird. Like I'm getting married. Like if I'm crying before my bachelorette's even started guys, one, what the fuck am I going to be like tonight? And then number two, what am I going to be like? <laughs> the morning of our wedding like i am going to be a fucking wreck so anyway i need to like get the tears out now um but anyway we're gonna film lots i'm gonna get my friends to film lots and then we'll put together the pg rated of the pg rated version of this kind of vlog because who knows what's gonna happen and um yeah we'll keep some bits obviously private for the obvious reasons of like i get to have private things and maybe we'll put like a final version out later of like all of the bits that we had to keep quiet until the wedding was done or something like that. Um, but yeah, all right, let's do some bloodies. I'm finishing my hair. I'm just doing a curl, listening to a podcast at the same time. Um, I finished my Pilates. And I'm just having a bit of quiet time up here whilst all my friends are decorating downstairs. My fiance just ran in, soaking, drenched. I'm like, what are you doing? Anyway, the real question is, will she drink today? That is the real thing that everyone's wondering. And honestly, I'm wondering too. We have to kill already. So if I do want to drink, I have to kill it there because I really don't like drinking wine or champagne. Like I'll drink it. I actually like the taste of wine and champagne but would never want to get drunk off it because we all know how bad that fucking hangover is but except for i've talked about this before and actually they emailed me which was like a dream come true because i was like i want a fucking code for this um this great brand in the u.s called aveline i don't know whether they have it elsewhere but it's called aveline and basically there's no shit in the wine because in the u.s at least they can add about 70 extra things into the wine without having to put it in the ingredients label not good for you and most of the time people are actually they feel so shit after wine from that that's why you often feel better from drinking wine in europe so um the only wine that i've actually ever gotten tipsy off was Avelina, and i wasn't hungover at all the next day i actually woke up and i forgot that i drank wine the night before because i felt what the hell is this doing because i felt so fine the next day so um anyway we'll see what happens in that regard it's still torrential rain uh, oh, I knew what I wanted to share with you guys. I actually never been to a bachelorette. My friend who's downstairs that had her wedding here the other weekend. Um, some of you might have seen it on my Instagram stories in orange. Um, 
she oh hold on a second okay my friend had to come up and give me the lowdown so apparently i get to go downstairs oh i haven't been fucking clipping these curls shit um apparently i have to get to i get to go downstairs and just be like literally in this outfit which is great so yep they know me so well because my only clothes are basically like a ball gown or a tracksuit. There is no in between that I have, literally none. It is like fully dressed up or like in clothes that are 10 years old and have holes in it. That is my vibe. Does anyone else have this issue where they just have like one side of their part that just like never behaves itself? Do we see this right now? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, done. For those of you that haven't gotten married yet, if I can give you one piece of advice through this process, it's to chill the fuck out because there is so much in life that you cannot control that the more that you have expectations, the more that you try and make something fucking perfect, the more imperfect it's going to feel. All right, I'm just gonna scroll Pinterest and wait for the text of you could come down and then I'm probably gonna be fucking bowling as soon as I walk down because when my fiance just ran in, he, like 10 minutes ago, he was like, you are going to love what they've done. And I'm like, what did I, oh, what I was gonna say before, and then I think it's when Britt walked in, is I've actually never been to a bachelorette. So I was meant to go, well, we had Tori's wedding, my friend, um, in Orange, uh, the, a, couple, a couple weekends ago, and she had her hens in January, but I couldn't like make the flight just too hard with work, honestly, to fly all the way to Australia. So unfortunately I didn't go. And so this is the first bachelorette that I'm going to, and it's my bachelorette. So I need you to understand that when I have no idea what to expect, I literally am just imagining what's on movies. And I'm like, okay, so is there gonna be a stripper? Is there gonna be like sex games? Like, is there gonna be like penis straws? Like, I don't, or are they gonna do it very classy and like very aesthetically pleasing? And like, how would I feel if a stripper came? Because I like, I'm like, the only stripper that I want, the only man that I want touching my body is my fiance because I love him so much. But anyway, we're just gonna find out. We're gonna fucking find out. I'm so excited. Okay. like comedy festival and then we get home and he hadn't kissed me yet or like made any moves he thought i wasn't interested he thought oh. that i didn't like him and so then and then he was like okay so do you have everything like to go to sleep because he was gonna sleep in the other room and i was like yeah i think so well he kept asking me and it was like do you need anything do you need anything and i was like well there's one thing and i was like can i have a kiss oh. and he goes oh you wanted a kiss i thought you like weren't feeling the vibes and i was like oh. yeah there's vibes and then he kissed me and i died oh. <laughs> Okay, now I have to text them saying reverse cowgirl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> back to the, the dinner table. Back to the dinner table. Yeah. Reverse cowgirl. Everyone tell what you drink. Yeah. Oh, God. Get a manifestation oh, oh, my God! <laughs> Rolling in the deep. She's Rolling a singer. Adele, Adele! Yes. Yes, fuck yeah, I'm so good at this. <laughs> you have... Two legs. So you, 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 you have two got 62,000 followers. There you go, you got 62,000 followers. 62,000 Yes. Okay. But here's my number. Hello everyone. Okay, it is the 
evening after my hens. We've had a whole day. And last night was absolutely amazing. I am exhausted, as you can tell. I'm cooking sausages right now, so sorry if you hear that background noise. So, uh, yeah, but it was like, it was amazing. I, I drank, but not like an obscene amount by any means. I wasn't like blackout drunk or anything like I wasn't even like super 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 drunk or anything like that but um you know I never drink so of course now having like four drinks and I am like Rah! and then the next day also just I feel like my brain is actually snapped in half so it was so much fun but it also just confirmed like I know I was kind of saying this before the like day started um, it seriously just confirmed how much I love my fiance and how excited I am to marry him. Um, they did some questions. You'll, you would have seen some of my reactions where like it was a question and then what would I say? And then what he said, like would come up on the TV. And as soon as he came up, I just started crying. So I'm like, okay, if that doesn't tell you how much I love him, I don't know what will, but, um, yeah. So I'm going to grab a shower, eat, and then go to bed because I'm literally another level of exhaustion right now. I only slept six hours. I feel like I'm not actually even necessarily hung over from the alcohol because I took a million supplements, drank so much water, like had electrolytes, did the whole thing. I think I'm actually just sleep deprived and also last night was just such a high. So yeah. Yeah, I'm videoing. <laughs> Is that okay? Sure. Okay, bye. You do you, All right, I'll do me.